Hello you pubic cereal, Jim Sterling here and this is Dark Days, it's a zombie shooting game, it's an early access, we're gonna play it. Not not the most glorious of title screens, but let's go for it. Oh, there's a title screen. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit, that was quite loud. Right, here we go. So that is a, this is a zombie here with a big old distended belly there with all the guts coming out, looking really gross, going ah. So that's a good start. This is much better title screen than the last screen we were on. Let's play it. Oh god, look at that. That's actually kind of a nice little art style. Finally, oh, oh my god. Refuge. I might find something useful here. Some ammo, I hope. Right, okay. So I don't know... It's already been five years since Kate is dead. She was one of the first to be infected. I can't believe I'm still alive. Right, brilliant. Are you gonna shut up now? Right, brilliant. Okay, so I don't know why the game started with them sliding out of control, but one quick tap on W got him to stop. Uh, looks in the direction of the mouse cursor. <laughs> okay. Wood plank. We got ourselves a... <laughs> that's, that's the melee attack. Brilliant. Okay. So, let's say it's an early access. It does look, um, you know, decent enough so far. Like, not from an animation. The animations aren't good, but the, uh... I kind of like the bold, somewhat cartoony look to it. So that's something. I think it just clearly is going to need some work doing on it. Click inventory button, handgun, reload. Okay, so we're going, going through all the tutorial stuff here. Alchemy hole, crafting button. Oh. Apparently he fires when you click on the button. Good. Molotov. <coughs> ah, that noise is brilliant. Love that. Let me try that again. Ah, fucking hate that. I've seen that happen on a few games where you click a menu item and they fucking waste a bullet. Ugh, that's annoying. Tissue. Eat a throw. All right. Okay, it's zombie time. I can hear them. Can't see them. Where are they coming from? Probably out here somewhere, aren't they? Okay, so this is quite a small map. I guess this is all we've got going for us. Oh, fuck. <laughs> all right into him. He was not paying attention. Let's try some melee, shall we? Once we Kick that floppy bastard out of the way. <laughs> Alright. That's very much uh, one of those take our word for it melee attacks. Got him though. Not much in the way of handgun ammo. Um, um, why? I sounded all weird then. I suddenly forgot how to speak. I was saying, I don't. No, how we're gonna get much handgun ammo after this. We're only at 30. Well, we were at 30. We are running out. Don't really know about how to fix these things either. I guess we just gotta kill all these zombies and then maybe we'll get to hold some stuff. Oh, wait! Actually, no, that's a lot of handgun ammo. Sorry. I was uh, misreading it. I guess I just wasn't expecting to be given over 500. <laughs> Bullets. I wasn't even paying attention to that number there. Silly oversight on my part. Right, let's follow the arrow. I didn't realise there was a door there. Results. Cole, career menu. We got $307. Shop. Can't really get anything. Alright, that's ammo. Good. Um, all right, here we go. We should stay here for a while. It's safer than outside. Flashlight. Holy shit! Look at that. I wish horror, like actual first-person horror games, had a flashlight that operated like this. You know, like an actual fucking flashlight. Oh, let me pick this up. Should be some crafting stuff. Duct tape. Brilliant. I'm gonna worry too much about ammo given we've got this much of. Whoa, 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 whoa! Go away! Go 
Oh, well, that zombie sh bashed me up good and proper. See, if I stay outside, they don't come and bash in the fence, which is good. Right. Yeah, those runners ain't shoot. Don't really have time to do the crafting, though. That's one issue. Because look at all these zombies. They're everywhere. I guess i just got to wait till I'm done with the wave. The flashlight's gone. Here it is. So it's on a battery thing, as you see in the. There's a bar at the bottom. I thought I saw a zombie run up here. Must have just been the way these uh, foggy effects go. There's something in the building. I'll have to pop in there. Where are you? Come in, you bastard. So we can repair. That's good. I'm gonna see what else we can make. What can we make? Brilliant. Okay. Pick this up here. So I was gonna do a game called Locked in Syndrome. That's how it's spelled. Locked in Syndrome this morning. But it's one of those games that sh managed to launch with a missing executable file. Which is like about the fifth fucking time that's happened to me. Where I go to play a game and, and it literally can't launch because it doesn't have the files. I don't know how developers actually manage to do that. But a lot of them have and they get on Steam because of course there's no one at Valve like checking to see if the games even fucking work when they're up. It's ridiculous. The, de the dev said they're working on it, but they said that five hours ago, so who knows when it'll actually be up. I'm saving myself up for the M16, that's what we want. I don't know why they put a, an optional shot screen there. No, 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 Where's my knife? Oh. How that works. Oh, well, whatever. Whatever, there are zombies that need shooting. Gotta worry about them first. Got some more handgun bullets. Quite a whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck right up with it. Right, there we go. Helps to actually point the mouse cursor at the zombies, then I shoot them. You see, I'm, I'm uh, playing the game a lot better when I actually point the mouse at the zombies and then fire, because that's how you win the game and kill the zombies. I mean, there's not a lot to it. Let's say it's in early access, but I feel like I've already explored the limitations of my fun with it. Not to say that there isn't promise in the future. But, I don't know, I'm just kind of a bit... Yeah, already about it. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, we, th we throw it like a Molotov. Cool. The game needs uh, probably a bit more audio-visual feedback than just the blood spatters. Especially with melee. It just it gives it a very dull look to it. Okay, have we got enough for a thing? Nope. I'm at least gonna go to the as far as getting an M16. Oh! I also heard that mutant zombies the size of bears were seen west of the country. I hoped it's just stories. Brilliant. So we got a new map here and bear-sized zombies. That all sounds very exciting. Where are the zombie wankers? Come on, right. Hang on, I'm gonna jump over. Ah! Bad prick. Go away! I don't like the running ones. They strike me as assholes. God, the 
watch Inquisition wrote this morning. It's going to be about VR. With obviously the big old price and everything that dropped and pre-orders and all that. A lot of people have asked me to do a Inquisition on VR. I've been kind of quiet about it for a while. Kind of keep my uh, opinions on the whole thing measured. Okay, yeah, that does pause the game. Yeah. That wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. Oh, there's a bear-sized fella. We'll burn him up. Actually, that's way bigger than a bear, if we're being honest. Went down easy, though. Relatively easy. Okay, got a lot of bullets. The game's very generous in that regard. But yeah, I've got, I feel like I might have some interesting things to say about VR. I might not, I might just be talking about a boring old bollocks, but I know I want those bullets. I know I, can see, I, I did get the bullets, cool. Who knows? Right, yeah, there we go. Mine. Just spend the rest on ammo. No, 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 I don't want to sell it. Da, 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 da. Right, pinpoint. Okay. I'm so hungry. I'm fucking sick and tired of eating tuna. Hmm, I wonder what zombie burgers taste like. Ugh. Is it in a zombie cannibalism? I mean, it must be, right? It, it would have to be. I mean, are they technically human, or...? I mean, you just don't know. That's an ethical question that I don't feel zombie media has ever accurately answered. I pressed E instead of R there. So that's worth thinking about. That's... That's a question that I feel this game should explore. Oh, hold on. Reloading. We kind of cornered here, so he better... Good. That's all I wanted. Stop hitting my fence! Rude bastards! Okay. So honestly, you know what? If we're being honest, the handgun's more effective. <laughs> Not only do I have a fuckload of bullets for it, they drop... Uh, I can drop more zombies between reloading. The M16 shit should have got the shotgun. You see, you can't repair these things until they've been busted. In that case there, it was more worthwhile to just let it get broken. Anyway, it's getting a little uh, tougher now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Finally got back to... Uh, tabletop gaming last week after a long hiatus with all work and all of this stuff and all that. You know what, let's craft ourselves some stuff. I haven't tried that. There we go. Still standing! Not for much longer though. There we go. That was that. But uh, yeah, we haven't got our full group together. We haven't had a full group together for a long time, so we have been playing um, our Eberron campaign in D&D 5th um, edition. So we did some Aberrant, which is a, a White Wolf game about people with superpowers. I think I mentioned it before. We started a new game of that. Sometimes I can't even tell the difference. We're doing a directive game, which is basically kind of... Um, hey, get your mind straight. Like, you get superpowers, but they emphasize them less. Because you're the guys keeping the superpowers under control, so you're a sort of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. type of thing. I went with the superpower Shroud, and that's the only power I've taken so far. All that does is, you know, you drop shadows and things. And then I put a lot into firearms and stuff. But that was a cool game. It was a cool little game, a little bit of investigation, a little bit of a 
working on drugs, sort of drugs that have been extracted from the bodies of the superhero characters. I shouldn't say superheroes, they kind of, they don't really go for the big supervillain, superhero thing in Aberrant. It's just kind of people with immense amounts of power. But it's fun. It's, I like it. It's one of my favourite RPG games. Oh, God. Okay, well, I stood too close. But that's a good place to end it. I mean, we're not really seeing much else outside of that. Um, fairly standard shooter. Fairly standard top-down shooter, you know. Nothing really special, but nothing dreadful. Uh, with some extra work, I mean, I could see it doing okay. It seems like they're actually working on, on putting updates into the thing. So this might not be one of those ones that just turn up on early access, then a few weeks later they're on Steam with no real changes. So I'll keep an eye on it. I think when it comes out of early access, this will be one of those ones that I revisit. Uh, yeah, so I hope it's... I wish it well. It's one of those ones that I wish it well. I'm certainly not going to write home to Mama about it, but but I do. Yeah, good luck with it, mate. Hope hope it does all right. Bye.